All right, let's go out to D-Town, Dallas, Texas, and talk to Melissa. What's up, Melissa? Hi, thank you so much for taking my call today. You got it. What's up? Um, I'm, I have an issue with a, um, a used car that I just purchased um, less than 30 days ago. And I believe I've been scammed by the dealership, um, you know, as far as the condition of the car uh, when I purchased it um, due to a, a multi-point inspection that they gave me that is inaccurate um, in relation to what I found out that's actually happening to the car. And so I'm wondering if I can return it or if I, you know, should request to get help with the repairs or if I should just kind of, you know, accept, I don't know, I I hate to say responsibility, but accept what has happened and then just kind of do what I can to get things fixed on it. So what does the car need repaired? Um, so it needs um, two front axles in the front. Um, it has a transmission leak. So it's some type of ring to, or seal that needs to correct that. It needs rotors and brake pads. And none um, of this was in the inspection report? Mount. No. Was this a reputable dealer or it was just on the side of the road? Where'd you get this car? No, this was a reputable, bigger dealership. Okay. Have you contacted them? I have, um, and they told me that, um, of course, they said it's as is, no warranty, but there was no sticker on the car that, you know, usually th- I didn't even realize that until recently when I bought it. There was no sticker or anything, and there was no paperwork that says that. So, but... Um, also, they said, well, we'll just, you know, take care of the diagnostic on the car, but we're not doing anything else beyond that. Here's what I would do. I would take it so. first. I would go get it um, a second inspection, even if I got to pay for it. Okay. I would go get a, another mechanic mm-hmm. that you trust to take their step-by-step inspection and go through it and have them sign off on each one of these things. Okay. Um, a certified mechanic and mm-hmm. to you're frustrated right now and you're part pissed off at them and you're part kicking yourself and it's good to get a professional expert on all these little points. Okay. Because it may narrow down to actually, you don't mm-hmm. need this. You'll need this. You need two things. Or they may look at you and say, oh, I'm so sorry. You got taken advantage of. Okay. So mm-hmm. Melissa, I answer these questions. Um, you know how I would respond if I was in your shoes and what I would do is go to the dealership in person and ask for the sales manager not the salesperson, the sales manager, because they can actually do something about it, and be kind and appeal at a human level and say, hey, I'm looking for a fair solution to this problem. Here's what happened. This well, is my starting point. Have you tried that? I I would say this. I have been talking directly to the sales manager, I think maybe three times so far, um, and he's the one who's saying we're not going to do anything. Then we're going up. We're going to find the VP of it. the dealership. We're going to go to the next level up. But I want you to take that other. I want okay. you to take that other inspection with you, okay? So that you it's it's not okay. just feelings and opinions. It's data. That's exactly right. Which John loves. Facts okay. over feelings. Exactly. So if the, and if you go to the VP, if you go to the higher level of management, and they still do nothing, that's when we go. All right, I didn't want to play hardball, but we're doing it. You're going to contact the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. You can contact the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, the Attorney General. You can turn to social media, and that is going to light a fire under their butts to do something about this problem. I guarantee it. Okay. If they okay. if yeah, they winked sure. over a crummy car, right? They pulled one over on you. There is. Um, there is like a lesson learned, right? I'm going to always, anytime I get a car, I'm going to take it to a certified mechanic that's not a part of the dealership. To have. Like these are things you learn as you go. Dave calls them stupid tax, yeah. right? Like it just is what it is. I'm concerned that you were lied to. You were handed a piece of paper that says this thing has been certified. And if it has, then there's a mechanic in that facility that has a certification number that mm-hmm. signed off on this thing. And if it's traced back to that okay. particular mechanic, then they're going to lose their their certification license. Okay. Okay. And so yeah. I, w- so I want to get I really... a third party okay. to look at it, for, and, then, and then what George said. And by the way, go in there with kindness and directness and data. 
Um, if you go in yelling and screaming and kicking like I, would, go I feel like doing right now on your behalf, um, then <laughs> people are going to send, send me away. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah, totally. Because, yeah, I think they – somehow I feel like they knew or they didn't really look at this car, mm-hmm. you know, and they just put it on the lot. And I don't think that's right. They may you have – For them to tell me, okay – yeah, no, if they handed you a piece of paper that said, hey, it's been certified, it's all good, we've passed our inspection, then that's that's dishonest business, right? Um, they lied to you, and they took advantage of you. And um, hopefully we can get this worked out. If they can't, and ultimately you exhaust these calls like that George gave you, and nothing, there's nothing to come of it, exhale, it sucks, it is what it is, and then we're going to get this thing paid off, we're going to get it repaired, or we're going to get it sold, whatever. And then we're just going to have learned for next time. Carrying around the anger and the frustration and the rage does not solve any of these problems moving forward. It's become frustrating. Um, George, I, like these things make me so mad. I know. I, I'm one of my biggest pet peeves is like consumer issues like this, where it just makes your blood boil. And I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the like the customer is always right. They're not. Sometimes <laughs> right. you got to fire your customers because they're crazy. But there is a level that I want to help people stand up for themselves. And realize that they have options. A lot of people just go, well, either I eat it or I have to go in there kicking and screaming. There's a different option. You can go in with kindness. You can do a step-by-step approach and then ramp it up over time and go, all right, I'm going to have to go to social media. I'm going to have to report it to the FTC, whoever. I'm to get an attorney because y'all clearly exactly. weren't honest with me. Yeah. But oftentimes I found that just taking that first step, being a real person with the sales manager, being a little bit of a squeaky wheel with the VP going, listen, man, you guys – I've had a great experience other than this. Yeah. And I would hate for that to tarnish that and me for have to talk to my friends and tell them to stay away from this dealership because of how they treated their customers. And for me to have to go to the FT, I don't want to go down this path. Right. Let's just make it right. I'm not asking for a lot. I'm not asking for a free car. I'm just asking for you to make these repairs and I'll be on my way. And I, I bought a car several months ago and from a dealer here in town and it was such a negative dishonest experience that at the very end with the last little gotcha I had my kids with me we're we're coming back I mean it was a whole thing but I looked at the salesman and said I hope this feels good congratulations um you got me you got me and um I can tell you not a single person and I'm not gonna be ugly I'm not gonna be rude I'm gonna take my kids I'm gonna take this thing this car and we're gonna go Mm. we will never do business here again and if anyone says hey I'm going to I'm going to let, let them know, let right? them know. With kindness and respect. Um, and it wasn't worth wasn't worth the, the lack of attention. But you're too classy to name drop them on air, and I respect that. Nope, not going to do that.